<laughs> Hopefully this one's better than freaking Galgun over there. It's it's so funny. I have shortcuts to my everything on this stream and I don't use them. <laughs> I I just don't use them for some reason. And yes, she has been juicing those thighs. But uh you stay away from my waifu. How about that? Alright. Let's start a new game. <laughs> oh hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from a distance, waving her arms and and what's sad is that she could be six. <laughs> <laughs> Waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw from herself. I could let's say you are a friend, Jordan. Goodness gracious, those references. Anyways, I could let's say you are a my neighbor, and she's a good she she uh, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. Goodness, I can't speak for some reason. You know the kind of friend you'd never see yourself making today. Wait, let me see. You know. The kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it's, it's it just kind of works out because goodness, I cannot read. Okay, we used to walk to school together on days like this, but starting around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase me, chase after me like this, I almost <laughs> I always feel better off running away. Jeez brutal. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. Haha, haha, I ever slept again, but I caught you this time. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> I forgot I named myself that. <laughs> Maybe, but only because... <laughs> only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Eh, you say that just like you're... Th you say that like you're thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Jordy McFly. <laughs> well, if... <laughs> I see your reaction, John. Mm. Okay. I'll let people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a, we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me, after all. I guess you don't have to worry... I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you wanted to. Whatever you say, Siri. Hee hee hee. We cross the street together and make our way to... You're writing this down. There's no need to write this down. This is my... <laughs> th this was my freaking... What was, what was the app called? Kick? This was my name on Kick. Goodness gracious, that app died. It died like it got attacked by a plague. As we trolled near, uh, the, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their, day, making their daily commute. But yeah, I, I've had I had that freaking nickname since like junior year. That was hilarious. Uh, by the way, Jordy McFly, have you decided on a on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already. I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? Yeah, did I? The fact you were on kick is material by itself. I mean, wasn't everybody on kick? I mean... <laughs> wasn't everybody on that? It was just kind of a thing, right? I I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. Sorry he likes to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly <laughs> content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I I was talking about how I'm worried 
that I'm still learning things about you. How did you not know that? That's that's what I'm wondering here. How 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 did you not know that? I thought everybody knew that. <laughs> I thought everybody knew that that was one of my nicknames. Anyways, I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know? And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't, don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs if it, that makes you happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself re relent to her. I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at at, at least a a little yeah at least a little bit. Goodness, I can't read still even after all this time. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside her head. Okay. Well, that happened. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack my things up, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Okay, clubs. Suri wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sir, Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch, catch you, yeah, I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Siri? What do you mean, Siri? Where are you getting Siri from? Hold up. <laughs> Sayori, that's her name. Sayori. Sayori. Anyways, honestly, even worse than me sometimes, I'm impressed. O honestly, you're even... I still can't read. Honestly, you're <laughs> you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need that. To... I heard Siri. What, what are you hearing over there? You don't need to, to wait up for me if, if it's gonna make you late to your own club okay I see here well I thought you might need some encouragement so I thought you know know what well that you could come over to my club yeah how about no let's let's not do that that sounds like a bad idea I heard you yeah <laughs> hold up nerves my guy nerves what Siri yeah there, there is no way I'm going to your club. You are shaking like a crapping dog. What do you what? What? Yeah, meanie. Sarah is vice president of the literature club. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. L literature. Ugh. Uh, in fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to know to show interest after one proposed to the club, she inherited the title vice president. I'm sure I read that sentence wrong, but whatever. That said, my interest in literature liter is guaranteed to be even less. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Yeah, let's go to the anime club. Why not? What is there to do there? I mean... Okay, I take that back. <laughs> there has to be something to do there. No, what is there to do in a literature club? I still... Okay. Why do you care so much anyway? Well, I kind of told the club yesterday I would bring a new, in a new member. And Asuki already made cupcakes and everything. Well, that's not my problem, Sayori. It ain't my problem. That seems like your problem. You shouldn't have promised them that. Don't, don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if Sayori is really that much of an airhead, or if she's so cunning as to have planned all this out. I let out the sigh. Fine. I'll stop by for a cupcake, okay? Yes, let's go! Okay, whatever you say, friend. And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. 
Same. Sounds like something I'd do. And it sounds like something that John would do, too. Ain't that right, John? Hmm. Okay. I dejectedly follow Sayuri. Did I? I did. Okay. Across the school <laughs> and, up, <laughs> and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit. Being generally used, generally, he, used for a third year. Classes and activities. Sayuri, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Okay, you do you. Let me. Hey. No, let's not do that. Okay. Everyone, the new member is here. I told you don't call me a new member. Eh, I glanced around the room. Welcome to the Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Suri always says nice things about you. Seriously? You brought a boy? Hey, what's wrong with that? Just because I'm a boy doesn't mean I can't, like... What? Why? Why are you being sexist immediately? <laughs> That's just like... Why? Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, goodness gracious. Ah, Jordy McFly. What a su nice surprise. <laughs> Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. This club is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. S -s Sorry. Natsuki. Hmm. The girl with the sour attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. Her small figure makes me think that she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says that quietly into my ear and turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, th this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. Okay, <laughs> don't say things like that. I'm sorry, what? My name is Jordy McFly, and I'm here to talk to you about your future. <laughs> Yuri, who appears comparably more mature and timid, seems to have have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayuri and Atsuki. Ah, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Jordy McFly. Monica smiles sweetly. We do know each other well. We really talked but we were in the same class last year. Okay, like that counts. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Basically completely out of my way. <laughs> I love how this man sums it up. He's just like, yeah, basically out of my league. I'm still gonna go for it anyway. <laughs> so having her smile at me so, gen so genuinely I was gonna say something else. Feels nice. Y you too, Monica? Come sit down, Jordy McFly. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Yeah, she was gonna eat one on her way over. Then how about I make some tea as well? Cupcakes and tea. That sounds like one heck of a combination. Hey, you wanna try that, John? You wanna try that? <laughs> Okay, the girls have a few desks arranged from to, to form a table. What the crap is this? T what is my mouse doing on the screen? So just a lot of butt kissing towards Monica is what this game is. No, no, you'll see, you'll see. I seriously mentioned it's been a, it's been widened so that there is one space next to Monica, and one space next to Siri. Natsuki and Yuri walked over to the corner of the room. Where Natsuki grabs the... Wait, I read that sentence right, right? Anyways, where Natsuki grabs a wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. It still feels awkward. I, I take a seat next to Siri. Hold on, let me fix something. I don't like that it's doing a certain thing. Let's... Let's stop that right there. Okay. My mouse was being weird and it was capturing weird on stream. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table with tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ooh! Ah. Natsuki lifts the foil of the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. 
Whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute. I, I did that wrong. Anyways, I, I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Hehehe. <laughs> well, you know. Know what? Just hurry and take one. Okay. Siri grabs one first, then Monica. I, I follow. It's delicious. Suri talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get an icing on her face. I turn I turn the cupcake around with I eh, I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Just bite it. Don't do that weird crap where you're just like, hmm, I wonder where I should bite this cupcake got. Just eat it! It's food. Just 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 do that, okay? Just just do that. That's you kids quiet. I can't help but to notice her, her sneaking her sneaking glances in my direction. She is waiting for me to take a bite. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? Goodness gracious. I finally bite down. <laughs> hey John, do you wanna tell me how the stream is sounding, my guy? You wanna tell me that real quick? This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I haven't heard this somewhere before. Maybe, <laughs> maybe them for you. Uh, made them for you. Great, Scott. It made them for you, uh, or, or it made them for you or anything. Why couldn't I say that? Goodness gracious. Okay, the audio's good. Good. Eh, I thought you technically did, sir. He said. Well, maybe, <laughs> but not for you. Y you know, you dummy. All right. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yuri returns to the table carrying a tea set. Careful, she carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the, the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Yeah, she is pretty moody, huh? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, she doesn't... After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea- Why did I read that she doesn't, or doesn't she? Doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? I mean, I guess. I mean, I might as well go make some tea right now. Hehe, <laughs> don't let- don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Oof, she called you out. Eh, that's- that's not- Insulted- <laughs> Insulted Yuri looks away. <laughs> I meant that, you know, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, then smiles at me. So what made you consider li the literature club? Um, I got kind of forced to be here, so I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically dragged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so... That's okay, don't be embarrassed. We're, we'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? Uh -huh. Well, you know, to be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. It feels, it feels like nothing but arguing, arg arguing, art about the budget, and publicly. Wait, and. Pl pl Publicity and how to prepare for your things. <laughs> Why is it that every anime protagonist doesn't have the ability to say no? I don't know, man. That's that's one thing I ask about. Oh dear. Okay. Um, I'd much rather <laughs> take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. Yeah, I feel the same way. And if it encourages others to get into literature. That I'm fulfilling that dream. Monica really is a great leader. I didn't know what that sentence said right there. I thought it said Monica is a really mumbled up words over here. Goodness, I'm over here being slightly dyslexic. 
Monica really is a good. It's a great. Is a great leader. <laughs> Yuri also nods, nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't any more people around in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Why did I pick a reading game? Why did I pick a visual novel to play tonight? Do you need my help? Shut your mouth, John. <laughs> I don't. I can make it over. No. Anyways, not many people are very interested in pulling. <laughs> Shut up in the chat. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start this. <laughs> Gosh dang it, John. <laughs> Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it, but it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident uh, that we can... No wonder why I'm always reading visual... You're not always reading visual novels! What do you mean? Hello? What? I'm mostly reading the dialogue. What are you talking about? <laughs> what? The reason why, like, y you can tell that I read most of the dialogue because I'm screwing up here. I, I read so much that it's just like blah, 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 blah in my head right now. Or the fact that I had too much sugar before this stream. <clears throat> I'm confident that we can all, <laughs> that we can all really grow up. Grow. I'm confident that we can grow <laughs> I'm confident that we can all really grow this club before we graduate. Right, everyone? Yeah. We'll do our best. You know it. Ah. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. What do you mean, yeah? Quiet, you. <laughs> Maybe that's why they were all so <laughs> delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So, Jordy McFly, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, um, considering how little I read these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga. I, uh, I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking, that Suki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. And not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup <laughs> with her finger. Goodness, I could visualize that right there. That's, that, that's, that's some good writing. Some good, good writing. My favorites are usually, vi vi no, usually, I almost said usually visual novels, and that, that would have killed me right there. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Okay. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But, you know, I like a lot of things. Okay, stories of deep s psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Neat. Isn't it amazing how a writer can can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? I mean, I guess. Sure. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror. I ah, I read uh, a horror book once. I desperately grasped something I could relate to. I desperately grasped something I can relate to the minimal level. Okay. 
At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For some reason, it's for someone as gentle as you. Okay. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or it takes me to another world, then I can't really put it down. Surreal, hor surreal horror is often very successful at changing. Is often very... Okay. I was about to say, if she said not, I was going to be tripping balls right there. It is often very successful at, ch at changing the way you look around the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Oh, why is that? Well, I just... Atsuki's eyes started over to me for a split second. Never mind. That's right, you usually like to write about cute things, don't you? Don't you, Natsuki? Yeah, I read that sentence wrong! What? What, what gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind behind last club meeting. It looked like you were about to work on a poem called Don't Say It Out Loud. Give me and give me that. Or give me that back, whatever she said. Fine, fine. Hehehe, <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems, everything about you, everything you do, everything about you, everything you do <laughs> is just as cute as you are. Sayori settles up behind Natsuki and puts her hands around her shoulders, on her shoulders, around her shoulders, okay. Whatever. Freaking, I'm a little dope. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your po- you, you write your own poems? Huh. <sighs> I can't say anything! <sighs> uh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share- why don't you share them sometimes? N no Natsuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like him. Ah, not very con- not very- not a very confident writer. Oh my gosh! I am gonna strangle myself! I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to one self. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You know what? I'm taking a sip of water to that. Where is my water? I'm taking a sip of water to that. Give me my water. Freaking... Mm. Right there. Let me, let me, let me zen. You must be willing to open up your eye, your, your... <laughs> okay, take another sip. <laughs> mm. Oh yeah, I just love this. I, I just... ASMR, shut up! Okay. You must really though. <laughs> Gosh dang it! You must be willing to open up your readers. You must be willing to open up your readers, exposing your vulner vulnerabilities to, to, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Goodness! Where's. Give me my mouse! <laughs> Do you have. <laughs> Do you have- Grunt ASMR is coming to life. It's definitely not. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example. Wait, you can set an example and help Nats Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. I mean, you guys are in a poem- no, Not a poem, a literature club, right? And you guys don't know about each other's work? That seems a little backwards to me. Monica, do your job. I guess it's the same for Yuri. Oh, I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sat in silence for a moment. Okay, I have an idea for everyone. Nasuki and Yuri look quiz quizzically, quizzically at Monica. Goodness gracious, that word. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everyone is is even. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it! Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it'll help us all get a little... Wait, what? Did something happen in chat? Okay, no, nothing did. I seen something move. Okay. I think that it'll help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. Isn't that right, Jory McFly? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on. There's still one problem. And what's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly came over forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. 
I never said which way. I, I never said which way this club. There we go. Sayuri may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and um, I lose my train of thought. All four, four girls stare back at me with de dejected eyes. Ugh. But but, <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought. Hmm. George McFly. What is that emote? What what is that? What is what is the Tarfu? What? Why did you post that? Why did you post that emo in the chat? In the chit chat? What? What is? What is that? What is that right there? <laughs> y you all, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision while when it's you know, when it's like this? That is, if I'm writing poems, it, that that is, it describes me. What? What do you mean it describes you? What is that supposed to- what? <laughs> that is, if writing poems is the price I need to pay in order to spend our every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I decided then. I feel emotionally attached to it. I mean, I'm sorry, man. If you feel emotionally attached to an emote, um, I, uh, I don't know how to tell you, my guy. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you feel that way. <laughs> Well, and you posted it again. What is this? I'll join a literature club. One by one, the girl's eyes lighten up. Yes, I'm so happy! Suri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! You really did scare us, scare me for a moment. Yeah, a jump scare. Perfect, since you like horror, you see that? If you really just came up for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. <laughs> that technically is why I came up. But I'm not going to tell you that, because... Reasons. And that makes it official. Welcome to the Literature Club. Ah, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next mi- Well played. What are you doing in chat right now, my guy? R write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. Jordy McFly, I look forward to see seeing how you express yourself. He he he. Yeah. Can I really express the class star Monica? Can I? Re Can I really express the class star Monica? I'm I'm gonna. One day, just. <clears throat> okay. Can I really impress a class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey, Jory McFly, since we're already here, do you want to talk- do you want to- do you want to walk home together? Do you want to talk home together? Like, that's the actual thing. Hey, John, let's talk home together, right? Freaking... I hate myself. <laughs> that's right. Say Sayori and I never walked home together anymore because she always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as- What is this freaking dude and the Dorito, man? Freaking be relevant to the game, my guy, or what I'm saying. You can't just be posting random stuff that makes no sense, my guy. Because that makes no sense. With that, the two of us depart the classroom of our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders. Me. I mean, I- Okay, whatever you say. The whole way my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls, Sayuri, Natsuki, Yuri, and of course Monica. Will I really be happy spending every day in after school in a literature club? Perhaps I, I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I'll, I'll just need to make one of my most... I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that that starts with a writing poem tonight. You're hungry? Well, go make some food or something, because you're not missing anything now. It's going to get to the horror part later, later, so make yourself something or whatever. Prick words. Okay. Uh, childhood. Uh, 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 meager. Okay, that was her. Uh, sweet. Twirl. Uh, uh, doki doki. Okay, of course that would be you. Uh, together, uh, uh, raindrops, gosh dang it, 
Fantasy? What? What? Why is that you? That makes no sense. Uh, candy. Uh, uh, cute. Uh, 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 heart. Uh, a pleasure. Okay. Uh, uh, laugh. Uh, melody. Uh, desire. A uh, promise. Uh, uncontrollable. Uh, adventure. Pure. Crimson. I don't know what I did there. I, I probably messed up making my poem. Hi again, Jordy McFly. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> yeah, I almost did. Seeing my poem just there. I put all these random words together in, in a paragraph. And yeah, that's my poem. I didn't do anything else with it. I just literally went through a dictionary and searched up words and you put them in a paragraph. So, uh, yeah. I think it's time to oust me. Because I suck. Nah, don't worry. Uh, that's what he said, right? He did say, nah, don't worry, right? <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I hope that he said it. Uh, let me, let me, okay, he did say, nah, don't worry. I got my spaghetti. Hey, you better share that spaghetti, my guy. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least want to keep my word. Well, I'm back t at the literature club. I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Shorty McFly. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like he deserves any slack. Siri told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. Siri told me that you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. There we go. And last year, too. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out with us or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in a club room. Dang, she re Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, Monica! You you didn't have to explode her like that. You you literally just ounced her. You, like... All that information, all those secrets are out now. Like... You... Wow. You put her on blast. I, I can't believe it. Monica put her on blast. Like... <laughs> Atsuki was over here roasting the crap out of me, and Monica was was, was like, uh-uh, I'm about to put you on blast. I get absolutely deleted, right? She got deleted! Hold up! <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. <laughs> get deleted upon! Get deleted. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seed. LMAO. Don't worry, guys. Johnny McFly always gives his, his gives it his best as long as he's having fun. Uh, he helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable am I really? Sorry, that's because your room is so messy and it's distracting. Oof. And you almost set your house on fire once. Goodness gracious! What is the matter with you? Is that so? <laughs> yeah. You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. Ooh. 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 We got, we got ourselves a little jealous girl, huh? See, she's a little jealous of the friendship. Jealous how close she is with me. Hmm. I see. <clears throat> I'm, I'm gonna keep tabs on that. How come? You and Ray McFly came, can become good friends too. I, I thought she said, how come you and Jory McFly became good friends too. I was gonna say, when? When did that happen? I wasn't there for that. Um, Sayori. Mm hmm? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Uh, oh. Yuri even bought you in the... Bleh. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Well, wait a second, Siri. Eh, me? Um, not really. Don't be shy. It's it's really nothing. What, what is it? N never mind. Siri made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri, I wasn't thinking. 
I guess it mean I guess it means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It would, it would make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah. I will make a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, I'm here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to, to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so... It should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, do uh, do what? Oh, discuss it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's totally what you're gonna say next. I'm on to you, Yuri. This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? What? What? what <laughs> I'm sorry. What? <laughs> she even picked out a book and she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I enthusiastically take a take the book. Yeah. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Hold on, give me a second, Johnny boy. Uh, let me see. How outdated. <laughs> what the crap? Okay, I, I can't I can't put that there. Alright. Give me a second. I will be Oh that's that's weird. Okay. Uh, hey, get off of that. Alright, let's go here. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to, to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. Oh, really? But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sir, Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. Mm. I can't help but to notice her intense expression. Like she was waiting for this chant. <clears throat> the sourness of this. That that almost went down the wrong pipe. Meanwhile, Nasuki is rummaging around the closet. In the closet. Hmm, sorry. Man. It looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slumped down and in, into the nearest into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy myself with some literature related by myself like this? I guess I could always read some of the book. I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. Oh, I, I expected there to be an S, but no. Hi, I'm John's cousin. You must be his friend. What? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what is happening in chat? I'm sorry? <laughs> Hold up. All right. Well, I'm feeling a little too tired to read. I could probably fall asleep right now. I close my eyes and, and end up listening in, in on family reunion. I see. In on Sayori's conversation with Monica. Wait a minute. You're watching my stream during our family reunion? What the crap? <laughs> what? We're probably going to seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give that up. I mean, we're, well, we can't give up. Yeah. What do you mean, yeah? That's just not... <laughs> that's not no... What? The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. The problem is, the, the idea of literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. Oh. What? Why do you say? It's not like that. At all, you know? We just need a way of showing off to everyone. Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh, what do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, 
nobody would come in the first place because it's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? So you're the one who gave my cousin a job. Yeah, I, I did. I did do that. And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What's this? Sarah is taking this really seriously. It's rare to hear her deliberately take uh, de de deliberate. <sighs> huh? That's a good point. In that case, do you think food would be would, would do the trick? What kind? Ah, well, I guess we could cupcakes. <laughs> good thinking. I think you would love to do that. Ah, you're right. Suki made the best cupcakes. That that works out perfectly. That wasn't why you. That wasn't why you suggested it. Can I have a job of vacation? I brought my own recording. <laughs> Hold up. Hold the phone. Can you at least DM me this stuff? <laughs> You're just randomly on my stream <laughs> asking me for a recording job. <laughs> Talk to John about that one. Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Hmm. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the what the crap? We still need to work out freaking phone. We still need to work out the details <laughs> of the event itself. John is getting food. Well, wait till the man comes back. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sayori is still her usual self. But th therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all? Sayori can pull up- can pull- put- put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I end up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but to wonder what it would be like to see the world through her eyes. Oh jeez, you're very close, Siri. Woo I open my eyes to find Siri's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out my chair. Hehehe, <laughs> sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> but you're in my face. That- What? Siri! That doesn't make any sense. You, you can't just be, like, in someone's bubble as they're sleeping, and then they wake up to that. Like, that's, 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 that's not good. This isn't the napping club. I wish it is. I wish that was a thing. Is there a napping club? Let me join it, because I totally would. Does our school have a napping club? You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in a club, you're going to have less time for anime, you know. Oh, but I want to watch my Naruto and freaking... My hero academia dunk. You you need to get used to it. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulders to see if Monica overheard. It's true though. Yeah. I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Siri. Hehehe. <laughs> it's what I do best. That's a problem. Wh what what about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? John has told me a lot of great things about you. Well, that's good to hear. Um, thanks. Eh? N not, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days... How many days this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... It's a secret! I knew it. So come on! At least give me a little benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. You make the memes, he says. I do make the memes. That is that is something I definitely do. Look, Sari, it's written all... It, look, Sari, it's written all over you. Eh? Sari glances around herself. How is it written all over me? You're clearly in a rush this morning. Look at your hair. Is Look, look, eh, look your hair is sticking out all, all around here. Eh... Uh, I run my fingertips down the side of Siri's hair, trying to straighten it out. Man, you really need a brush. You, you, man, you really need a brush for this. Yeah, I'm messing up again. My hair is just really hard to get right. I won't fall for that. <laughs> right? You have like super short hair. What? Is, what the most can you do? And you put like a little bow on it. Like what? 
there's more there's there's more than that than just and it's probably a bow that's a pin too like the the little hair clip it's probably one of those bow hair clips that you just like you know like it's probably one of those there's more than just that there's more than just your hair look your bow isn't isn't straight either and there's two there's a toothpaste stain in your collar right here sorry about my cousin bro what you mean I try to wipe off the stain with my finger but nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Unfortunately, I really don't care about that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. Seriously, Sari. Why do you think you, you don't have a boyfriend yet? Oof. Eh? That's super mean. <laughs> that was pretty cold. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. I start to button her, button her blazer from the bottom. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Oh, well, I'm very close to her. Hehehe. <laughs> this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking about... She wants an application, as I could see. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I was just thinking of- I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Eh? Don't say that. You're gonna make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's okay, though. I'm happy we're like this. Aren't you? Uh... I, I guess. Hey, be careful. The button might come off. Why is this one so hard to close? Struggling to force- <laughs> forcefully- I struggle- I struggle to fully close the button near her dress. Does this thing even fit you properly? <laughs> it did when I bought it. <laughs> How long ago was that? If you if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner than wait. If you if you ever buttoned it, you would have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? <laughs> oh. It means my boobs got bigger again. Okay. Don't say that out loud. <laughs> hey, Sub Joseph. <laughs> anyway. You look much better now, so... Uh... Why does it feel strange to see Sari's blazer button up like that? But it's so stuffy. It's not worth it at all. Sari hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Freaking after I did all that work. You're gonna, you're gonna really do that? Phew, that's so much better. Siri puts her arms out and twirls around. Bro, what did I walk into? You walked into stuff. In, in, into literature stuff. That's that's what you walked into, my guy. <laughs> so if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? What kind of logic is that? And why are you saying it like that? Like, it's a good thing. Because if I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. Oh, that, that's, that's true. That's, that's honestly true. And you take care of me better than anyone else would, anyway. Oh, so what are you trying to imply there? That's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying all these embarrassing things. <laughs> <laughs> eh, I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up earlier. A little earlier, I think that's what he said. Anyways, only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. It's a deal. Oh, oh, she said only if... Oh, okay, she was talking to me when she said that. Okay. Alright, alright. I, I read that wrong. I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are at ta taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you should come come walk with... Maybe you should come wake me up in the morning. Goodness gracious, I can't read anything. I, I, I just can't do that. You're doing it again, Sayuri. Oh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to, to tell with you sometimes. Okay, everyone. Eh? Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Yay! Georgie McFly, I can't wait to read yours. Yeah, same. I I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayuri still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? It, yeah. My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. <laughs> Too bad there's only one answer. Oh my gosh. I I can't 
I, I couldn't really find much inspiration since I'd never really done it this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sarah and Monica enthusiastically pull, pull out their poems. Sarah is on a wrink is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf. Uh, Sarah is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf paper. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Well, on the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comp comply, comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Okay. Who should I show my poem to first? Alright chat, this is up to you. Who should I go for? Who, who, who am I showing the poem to first? You pick chit chat. We got Sayuri. Natsuki, phone quiet before I throw you somewhere. We got Sayuri, Natsuki, Yuri, Monica. Who we picking, chat? Monica? You wanna go to Monica? Alright. I should start with Monica. Yesterday she seemed eager to read my poem, and I want her to know I'm putting in an effort. Listen, freaking Joseph Spoils! <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Hi, Trader McFly. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you have er if you have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring up things, okay? All right. I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm not. I'm, I'm much better off going to the f to the flow, and I'm much. I'm much better off. <laughs> anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. <laughs> Don't worry, Jordan Fly. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll learn to get past soon. <laughs> no, I, I, I'm just joking, Joseph. Don't don't worry about it. Yeah, that's true. And Monica, my poem. Hmm, I like this one. It makes me think of some somewhat something Sayuri would like. Is that so? You and Sayuri are really good friends, right? I would be surprised if you had any of those sort of things in common. Ah, uh, well, we may be good friends, but Sayuri and I are actually really different. Hmm, maybe that may be the case. But maybe there are also some similarities that you wouldn't expect. The way she talks about you. It sounds like the two of you, you really care about each other. And others were... were eh. If... Even if you show... Eh. Even if you... Sh I was busy... I was too busy looking at chat. I messed up the freaking sentence. Even if you show it in different ways, it's, it ends up being more similar than you think. So, I think it's the kind of vibe I get when... I get when reading your poem. Hmm. You're sure you're sure you did yeah. you sure you <laughs> you sure you're not reading into uh, into it a bit much ah uh, I could be oh gosh I sound like Yuri but in any case Yuri's writing has has a kind of gentle feel to it what did I just hear what was that was that <laughs> what what the crap was that I just heard something anyways I can tell that she likes to spoil with emotions like happiness and sadness. Who knew that someone so happy would enjoy, every, would, uh, would enjoy sad things too? Goodness, why can't I read tonight? Yeah, that's totally unexpected. Well, to each their own. And you shouldn't be afraid to experiment a bit, a, a little bit either. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It, it could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way, that's the best way, bleh. that's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. Ugh. Everyone else might be a little bit biased towards their own kinds of styles. But I'll always help if you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to writing, to, to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about impressing them or something. I mean, you got a point. <laughs> <laughs> what was that awkward laugh they did? Anyways, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. 
You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel the way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Okay. Hole in the wall. All oh, that reminds me of that freaking game show. The hole in the wall. It couldn't have been me. See the direction? The... the sp what? What is... Sp spackle? Protrudes? Is that sparkle or spa... Whatever. A noisy neighbor? An angry boyfriend? I'll never know. I wasn't home. I peer inside for a clue. No, I can't see. I feel blind, like a film left out in the sun. But it's too late. My retinas already scorched with a permanent copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It was it was too deep. Oh dear, where is this poem going? Schmeckle? What? That, 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 okay. Anyways. Uh, it was too deep, stretching forever into everything. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now I wasn't looking in. I always look out, and he on the other side was looking in. Oh, so it's a peephole. So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very free-formed, if that's what you call it. Sorry, I'm not really a, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, ha, ha, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between wor words and lines. Excuse me, chat. I'll be back for a quick second. I have to have to do a quick little thing right now. Give me a second. For now, enjoy some music. Okay, be right back. All right, I'm back. <laughs> you said this was opera? No, <laughs> that was that was some Persona Four music right there. Uh, I, I use a per, I use the Persona Four soundtrack uh, to give you guys some fresh some fresh uh, listens over there. Okay, I, I had to do a quick few quick things. It's stupid hot right now, and uh, I had to change into some more breathable clothes. But I'm afraid that's gonna make me more hot. So, uh, alright. That is, a lot of poems you have been putting an emphasis on the timing between the words and lines. When performed out loud, it can really be powerful. That was the inspiration behind- <laughs> That was the inspiration behind this one? Ah. Well, I'm not sure if you know how- if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of empathy recently. A an epiphany. Goodness gracious, I- I can't read. I just- I just can't do that. My- my mouth won't allow me to read things. So, <clears throat> it's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that, because it's kind of coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixed, fixated on a special point. If you try hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself 
to get something down on the opera on the paper and tidy on the opera. Gosh dang it, you had me thinking of Aqua. Uh, uh, aqua, where did? <laughs> You had me thinking about opera, so I said opera while reading, but then I said aqua while trying to... <sighs> End me. Just force yourself to get something down on a paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this, if you keep your pen in, in the same spot for too long, you just get a big dark puddle of ink. That's true, actually. So just move your hand and go with the flow. And go with the flow. Ugh. That's my advice today. Thanks for listening. Why are you talking to me? Don't break the meta. I mean, I know that's your character, but don't break the meta. At least this early. Alright, all right, chat. Who's next? Who's next, chat? Go ahead and tell me. List it down. Who are we going to show next? You can tell me that while I pour me some V8. <laughs> Get on, chat. Tell me what's what. Who shall I pick? Yuri? Alright. We'll pick Yuri. Hmm. Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um... Oh. S sorry I forgot to start speaking. What?! You- You what?! <laughs> you did what? I got a 9-2 flamethrower. <laughs> oh my gosh. <clears throat> I- I- I'm sorry. You- You- You forgot what though, Yuri? You forgot to start speaking? That's not a thing you should just forget. That's that's not a that's not a thing. Just no. Um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Or uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that <laughs> I, I guess that uh, I'm not over what Yuri said earlier. Hey, Addy, what's up? How's it going? It's it's so weird because I have like the uh, the stream going on on my tablet here to to look over it, and then I have you over here on my little sh stream setup, and you're the your uh, your little username is the same color as John's, so I'm gonna get mixed up by that. I guess that it might be after reading it, though. Reading through it. What am I reading? Okay. Ah, so it's that bad. No! Did I just raise my voice? Um, I'm sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but to notice that it's been several minutes and we haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to the new people. It's fine. I didn't really notice. What 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 were uh, what were you saying? Ugh. Right. Um. It's just that there are specific writing habits that usually typical writers use. That you that are usually typical of new writers. Oh, goodness gracious! I promise you, I'm reading something in an alternate timeline because that's exactly how it feels. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up up on them. 
I think the the most noticeable thing I recognize in the new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick up a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form fit the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her, her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that I got into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, is, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. I might... I might take you some time. I might. It might take you some. It might. It might. Not I. It might take you. She has been exposed. Yeah. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable, valuable feedback. I cannot read. That's 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 what I should name this stream. Cannot read. Because that's, that's exactly what's happening. Atsuki can be a little bit biased, though. Biased how? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking to other people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri's apologizing to herself, to me, or Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thoughts, my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles demeaningly. Dreamingly. Demeaningly? What? What does that even mean? Yuri smiles dreamingly as if, as if as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Goodness gracious. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, it isn't supposed to be the literature isn't it supposed to be a literature club? I I give up on my reading skills. Ghost under the light. The what does that say? The tendrils? I... What is that? The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow, bathing. It, 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 it must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. I hope that says test. The last... The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green blue hue of the future. <sighs> How did I read Hugh, but not the other? I bathed, calm, breathing air of, of the most, of the pre, of the present, oh, goodness gracious, I, I need to take reading 101 again. The present, but living in the past, the light flickers, I flicker back. Okay, that sounded a little bit edgy at the end there, but I'll, whatever. You do you. I'm sorry, I have such terrible handwriting. I mean, you kind of do, I can't, I can't. I can't... You kinda do. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. What, it took you a long time to read? Yeah, that's because I was struggling on what was what. Ah, uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. Yeah, because you're floundering a bit. Floundering? What am I floundering about? I'm just reading. What? What are you talking about? Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short? I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since this is our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Yeah, I just naturally read fast, John. I, <laughs> I don't know what you're on about. Something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Jordy the Fly. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only... Oh my bad, bro. Freaking... Well, I suppose you did only glance over it, over it after all. But remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than to tell a simple- Doki Doki. What? 
Doki Doki, that's what brings me and my grandsona is Monica. Oh, you're talking to Joseph, okay, not me. Sorry to interrupt in your guys' conversations, chat. They usually do, <laughs> and to tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being sim symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon, the, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought about that. I haven't even thought of that. Eh, that's impressive. It's nothing, really. Well, it makes me happy to think... To, to, it makes me happy that... It makes me happy that you think that! Goodness gracious! I, I'm i just here, just... <clears throat> I need to freaking read out loud more. I never do it. <laughs> Just remember that it won't be long before you pick up on these things too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Okay. Okay, chat. Who's next? Who's next, chat? Who should I pick next? I'm waiting, chat. Don't don't keep me waiting. Or I'm just gonna pick someone by, by myself. I wanna make this fun for you guys. Who's next? Yuri, just to really piss off Monica. Say Yuri. Okay, Yuri. I already picked Yuri, John. What are you... Anyways. Show her who's boss. Pinky. I mean... <laughs> Both of the last remaining girls are pink, so... Oh my goodness. This is so good, Jory McFly. Eh, I love it. I had no idea you were, you were such a good writer. Sierra, you must be seriously overreacting. I'm not a good writer at all. I, don't, I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Well, maybe that's why. Because I have no idea what, what I like either. <laughs> Jeez. Yuri's opinion was way more constructive than this. Maybe even that Suki's. Are you sure you don't like it just because I wrote it? Eh? Well, I'm sure that's part of it. I think I understand you better than a lot of other people, you know? That So when I read your poem, it's not just a poem. It's a... It's a Jordy McFly poem. <laughs> Alright. And that makes it feel extra special. Like I can feel your feelings in it. Sari hugs the sheet of paper against her chest. You're so weird, Sari. Yeah, you're gonna crumble my piece of paper! Give it back! Ah! Hehehe. <laughs> I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Er, well, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that really doesn't mean I'll break my promise. See? It's like you said before, Jordy McFly. Deep down, you're not really selfish at all, you know? Trying new things like this for other people. That's something that only really good people do. Thanks, Sayuri. I'm not sure if Sayuri sees the full picture of my motive here. And again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. And I might and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That would be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna hold on to that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. <laughs> we'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow down through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help, help me out of bed, making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. <laughs> Making me rub the sleepy from my eyes, oh dear. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish away the rainy day? I look above. The sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. 
This sounds like a call in form, goodness gracious. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. She just like spit the most fire bars of 2019, guys. I'm telling you. It's freaking... What is it? J July 11th right now? She spit the most fire bars of, of, of 2019. Just boom, right there. We, we, we don't need any more songs, guys. Right, like, boom, right there. Rhymes on top of rhymes on top of rhymes. She, she, she got it. She got it right there. Sayori, this is just a guess, but did you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I can tell since you said I want breakfast at the end of the dang poem. You can't answer just a little bit to a yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes you... At least that makes me feel a bit better to know about myself. To know that about... Don't be me! <laughs> I know I didn't read that right, but whatever. I still tried my best. Wait, what? I bet using that poem would bring any lady to their knees. Any <laughs> god, like, an acknowledgement. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't mean to say that it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially that last line. <laughs> I made eggs and toast. <laughs> B is hungry again. Be right back. Freaking always eating food over there. Even though you were, even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. I can't imagine you cranky. You're so upbeat. What the, wait, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, oh, that was the button to, like, remove the dialogue so you could take a freaking thumbnail pic? That's hilarious. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Anyways, thanks for showing me. <laughs> this was so much fun. Monica's re Monica's the best. Ah, uh, yeah. But next time, I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I'll look forward to it. Okay. Natsuki's the last one. Well, it's about what I expected from someone like you. What does that mean? It, what are you trying to say to me? I, I feel disrespected. I feel attacked right now. That's that's not chill. That's not that's not it, Chief. I don't I don't I don't like how you're targeting me like that. I I'm I'm gonna call the principal. <laughs> I I'm getting harassed. I don't like this one bit. That's a little blunt. Well, excuse me. It's not like I said it was bad. Is It's just... It, it just didn't invoke any emotions. So basically, it's not cute enough for your tastes. Ooh, you had to burn her like that. You had to burn her. You had to do that. Ooh. Do you want to get smacked? Ooh. I'm sorry, what? Go get them snacks, my hippo friend. What is happening in chat right now? <laughs> what is what, what is going on? What? I have to read the chat right now. What is happening? Taco Bell, hippo friend. This is uh this is a very interesting chit chat you guys are doing. I'll pass. <sighs> Well, anyway, I guess I need to show you mine. Not that you will like it. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Oh. Alrighty then. Yeah. I told you that you were gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because. Everyone in school thinks that writing is, has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like it when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. I mean, to be fair, I don't hear anything that hit me hard in that poem right there. Like in this poem. Seeing everyone around you, 
do great things can barely be disheart could really be disheartening. So I decided to write to write about it. Eh. Yeah, I understand. But another uh, other night. Let, let me take a drink <laughs> before I get tongue tied again. Okay. But the other nice thing about the simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. Yeah, I can see it. It helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> I decided to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. Phew. I guess that's everyone. I glanced around the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone is judging me for my mediocre writing abilities. Even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. This is, this is literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. I'm sorry, I'm also watching Filthy Frank with this. Ah, I see. Across the room, Yuri and Monica are happily chatting. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. They gingerly exchange sheets of paper sharing their respective poems. As they read in tandem, I watch each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. What's of this language? Eh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns to the poem. To the returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I couldn't read that for some reason. What the crap? I guess you could say it was fancy. Ah, thanks. Yours is cute. Oh, they have some beef. They have some beef, guys. They have some beef. Some juicy beef. Put it on a burger, my guy. Put it on a burger. Cute. Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh? You mean you have to try to put- you have to try that hard to put up with someone's- something that's nice to say? I couldn't read that either, what the crap. Thanks, but it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well, I do have a couple suggestions. <laughs> I was looking for- if I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone- Dang. Dang. I would have asked from someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Say Uri liked it, and Joy McFly did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give you some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. Goodness gracious, it's like a long time establishing freaking knowledge of Pokemon cards or Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Like, oh, I spent a long time doing this. You can't tell me anything. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, I mean, like, that actually can, like, you know, be an art style conflict as well. Like, oh, I've been joining this art style for a long time. I don't expect it to change anytime soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring, which I haven't yet. Yeah. And you're even fly like my poem too, you know? He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki suddenly stands up. Oh crap, the music cut off. That's when you know it's real. Here we go. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new memory, Yuri. Oh! Oh! Put it in my salad. Put it in it. Put it in my salad. Here we go. Eh? That's not what I... You... You're just... Yuri stands up as well. 
Maybe you're just jealous that Jordan McFly appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. Oh, huh? And how do you know that he didn't appreciate my advice more? Are you that full of yourself? Ooh. <coughs> Ooh. <laughs> I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliver. I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do so overly cutesy. You, you'd... Um... Is everyone okay? Well, you know what. I I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Tony McFly said showing up. Dang! Dang! Put it on my salad. Let me mix it up. Ooh! Dang! She called her out. Ooh! That was, that was some whew. That was, that was a big whew. Right there. <laughs> Nat Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... Nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> Let him fight. Let him do it. This doesn't involve you. I, I don't like fighting, guys. Suddenly, both girls turned towards me as they j just noticed I was standing there. Starting to fly. She she's trying to make me look bad. That's not true. She started it. If she could get over herself and learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. What's the point in making your poems all convoluted for no reason? You know what? She has a point. I... I... She definitely has a point. The meaning should jump out at the reader, not force them to have to figure it out. Oh, Help me explain that to her, Dragonfly. Wait! There's a reason why we have so many deep and expressive words in our language. It's the only way to convey complex feelings and and meaning of the most of uh, and meaning the most effectively. Avoiding them is not only unnecessarily limiting yourself. Not only unnecessarily limiting yourself. Eh, it's it's also a waste. Is, is that what she said? Is that what she? <laughs> Let me look at this. Okay. Yeah, she did say that. Okay. You understand that, right, Jordan McFly? Um, well... How do I get dragged into this in the first place? It's not like I know anything about writing. But whomever I agree with, they'll probably think more highly of me. So, who's it gonna be? Uh, uh... Uh, hmm... Uh, <laughs> chat, chat... Chat, I need your help, chat. Chit chat, I need your help. <laughs> I don't know what to do, chat. Help me out. Help me out. Please. This is a big oof. <laughs> this is this is one of those big oof moments here. Like oof. What should I do? Natsuki, you want me to pick Natsuki? Is that really where we, where we should go? <laughs> Natsuki? Okay, let me... Sayori? You want me to go to Sayori? Oh, this, this is, this is, uh... I'm gonna, hmm... What about you, Joseph? Do you, do you have anything? Do you have any input on what we should pick? Anyone at all? Clown them. Clown them? Sayuri? Okay, help me, Sayuri. Natsuki! Natsuki glares at me, drying up any words I had in my mouth. So instead, I turn to Yuri. Y Yuri! But Yuri's expression is so defenseless that I, can, I can't bring myself there, there, there. Sayuri! Eh? Yeah, everyone's fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. How can it's you if you keep fighting when you know that you're making your friend feel like this? Jordy McFly. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. <laughs> it's unfair for others to interject their own feelings onto a conflict. Yeah, unless Yuri wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she is being. She would never. <laughs> I never. It's your, it's your immaturity 
That's made up, made her upset in the first place. Excuse me? Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why, exactly why nobody likes... Stop! Oof. Natsuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because of their differences. Natsuki's poems. They're amazing because they give you so many feelings with just a few words. And Yuri's poems are amazing because they paint beautiful pictures in your head. Everyone's so talented, so why are we fighting? Be because well, also, Natsuki's cute and there's nothing wrong with that. And Yuri's... <laughs> and Yuri's poems are the same way they always are. <laughs> Big and beautiful! <laughs> Big and beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Big and beautiful. Oh man. Sayuri. Terry stands up triumphantly. Monica stands behind her with a bewilderingly bewildered. <sighs> I'll make some tea. <laughs> Yuri rushes off. Natsuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So this is why Sayuri is vice president, I whispered to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader, and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I couldn't even bring myself to interject. As president... Bro, this is getting too odd for me. I'm gonna bounce for a bit. Be right back. Too odd? What is there? What is there odd? As a president, that's kind of embarrassing of me. Haha. <laughs> nah. It's not like I could blame you. I wasn't able to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sayuri is amazing in her own ways, isn't she? You could say that. She might be an airhead, but sometimes it's weirdly suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I mean, I, I would hate to see her get herself hurt. I mean, if you think that you're weird at now, Joseph, yeah, just, just, just wait till it gets to later game and you're gonna be extremely weirded out. But that's only if you stay. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly at me, causing my stomach to knot. Such a genuine person really does make a good president, regardless of what she says. Only, if only I could get the chance to talk to her for a little bit more. Okay. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you all feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. Well, I did say it was worth it. It's alright, well, mostly. Tony McFly, how about you? Yeah, I'd say the same. It was neat. It was a neat thing to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you learned something from your friends too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, I did learn a, a bit, a, a little bit more, a little more about the kinds of poems everyone likes. With any luck, with any luck, eh, can't, still can't speak, still can't do it. With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself with, a, with newfound determination. Jordy McFly. Ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Hehehe. <laughs> Siri beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayuri and I have spent this much time together. I can't really say I'm not enjoying it either. What about Monica, Addy? Sayuri, about what happened earlier. Eh, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Natsuki. Does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no. That's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise they're both wonderful people. You don't... Well, uh, you don't hate them, do you? I was gonna... I was gonna speak in the... the freaking... Uh... You know. Anyways. No, I don't hate them. I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I didn't see why they make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Dragon Fly, it's nice that I get to spend time with you in the club. But I think seeing you... seeing you get along with everyone is what makes me the happy... happiest. Yeah. And I think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day's gonna be so much fun. <sighs> oh, you just wanted to say it. 
It looks like Siri still hasn't caught up onto the situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop there? We'll just have to see what the future holds, Siri. I I pat Siri on the shoulders. I said that more. I said that more to myself than to her. But it's easy to use Sayuri as an internal monologue sometimes. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Okay, let's make that poem. Uh, play. Kawaii. Uh, imagination. Rainbow. Sugar. Cute. Jumpy. Swimsuit. Games. Bunny, sweet, uh, heart, cheeks, tears, flower, fluffy, clumsy, romance, laugh, boop. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why was that there? Another day passes. And it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past few couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Dreamy McFly. Yo, Sayori. Looks like you're in a good mood today. Hehehe. <laughs> I'm just still not used to being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get... F that, that's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood. What? I guess it's always the simple things. Bleh. It's always the what? I just completely skipped over that with my mind. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come over with me and to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. Why don't we take a look out at why don't we take a look at your purse, Siri? Eh why that all of a sudden? No reason really. <laughs> Oh, she's, she's, she's gonna use me for snacks. Is that what she's trying to do? Uh, Siri nervously re retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets it, its contents spill all over the desk. Only two small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I didn't see right through you, Siri. That's not fair. How do you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you, so either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would have to lend you some. Ah, <laughs> oh, bravo! Well played. But there's one more thing: you're always hungry, and so that only leaves the, leaves the one option. Ah, <laughs> I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. <laughs> oh yeah, I it was I, I caught that, Addy. Ah <laughs> suddenly giggles. Eh? I didn't notice that she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Ah! I wasn't listening or anything, liar. It was just something in my book, liar. Yuri. Tell, <laughs> tell Trey McFly to let me post some money. That's... Don't get me involved in something like that, Yuri. <laughs> Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly... Oh, give me a second chat. Give me a second chat. Alright, sorry about that. Had to blow the old nose. And frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough. Is a fair enough retribution. Ah, did I just... I didn't mean like... I didn't mean that. I had to absorb into my book. You're... <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's, it's a fun side of you. <laughs> it's a fun side of you. It makes me want to slap you. <laughs> That's why it's fun. That's... There's no way you could think of that. 
You were right though. I did something bad and now I have to accept the, the revolution. Retribution. Oh, that, that emote. What the... That, that... That, that, that emote there, Addy. What, what, what you got there? Still, coming from you, Sayori, I guess there's a little devilish shite inside of us after all, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sayori knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she, she... After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. But... You wouldn't have come if, if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki, Natsuki to make them. Come on, give me more credit than that, Siri. <laughs> ah! What was that noise I just made? What the crap? Out of nowhere, something smacks Siri in the back of the, in, in the face and trembles onto her desk. Ow! What was... Eh? A cookie! Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Siri glances around. Is this a miracle? Is, is It's because I paid my restitution? Retribution. <laughs> Actually, that one almost worked. <laughs> I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blah blah about the cupcakes. I was totally worth... It was totally worth seeing your action though. <laughs> Natsuki, what is this tentacle crap in the chat? What's, what's, what's happening here? That, that's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Siri hugs the cookie. Jeez. Just eat it. Siri ra rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes out... And takes a big bite. So good. Mmm. <laughs> Siri suddenly clasps her hands over her mouth. I bit my tongue. Ehehe. <laughs> You're going through a lot over just one cookie. Siri takes a bite of her own cookie. Siri takes a bite of her own cookie. Ugh. Ah, ah, yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Beggars can't be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? <laughs> Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> Siri gets out on her seat and goes behind Natsuki, then wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. I get it, I get it. Cookie's still in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayuri off of her. Oomph! Sayuri suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. Hey, did you seriously just do that? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Mouthful, Sayuri trots away to safety. Yuri and I laugh as well. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell Sayuri? Huh? Natsuki glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. Ah, uh, where is Monica anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Hmm. That's a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Eh? You don't think she has a... <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Dang. <laughs> That's true. Excuse me. <laughs> Suddenly the door swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Well, I could show the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. Boyfriend? What on earth are you talking about? Monica quizzically glances at me. Uh, never mind that. Wait, wait, she glanced at me. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Uh, I'm, I'm sensing some uh, feels right now. It, her, her feels coming towards me. That's that's what I'm sensing. Not not anything else. What held you up anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was a study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring at least. I must have not heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware that you played music as well, Monica. Oh, I don't really. I kind of just started recently. I've always wanted to learn a piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Monica looks at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. So she wants to impress me. Boom. She, she, she wants to do it. 
She wants to impress little old me. Yay! That sounds so cool. I also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I won't let you down, Dreamfly. Maka smiles sweetly. Why, why? Why are you, like, doing that position? It's just like, boom. Like, who, who, who does that? <laughs> who, who makes that position? Ah. I didn't mean any, pr any pressure or anything like that. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd really love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks! So, did I, didn't I miss... Did, didn't... I didn't miss anything, did I? Uh, n not really. I choose to leave out Sayuri's mischievous escapade. I'm sure that Suki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayuri must somehow already finished her entire cookie. Yuri is back to her book, and Atsuki disappeared into the closet. Oh yeah, Monica does love me. That's that's exactly what's going on. Dory McFly, Dory McFly! Siri suddenly comes comes up to me. I'm gonna go get some supplies from another classroom. Wanna come with me? Supplies? What for? Well, you know how the festival is coming up. Well, you know how the festival's coming out? Ugh. Me and Monica were going to make some posters and stuff, so I need to go find some crayons and markers and glue sticks. Ah, I see. Sure, I'll go with you. Yay! Okay, Monica, we'll be back soon. Ah, are you going to try to make fly to get to the supplies? There's no need to trouble yourself. I'd be happy to go with him. Oh, 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 there it goes. There's the signs. Bada bing, bada boom, right there. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm I'm in your room. <laughs> That's what Monica's about to say. <laughs> Just like, boom. She's uh, she's she's already plotting stuff, already, and like, what are we? Two hours and fourteen minutes in the stream. Boom. Oh, but I wanted to go. It's so much fun exploring empty classrooms and stuff. <laughs> okay, okay. It was just a suggestion. See if you could find poster paper too, okay? Okay. Ready, Jordy McFly? Yep, let's go. Sayer and I exit the room. The, the club. <sighs> okay. <laughs> I follow behind as Sayuri hums and skips around the hallway. Honestly, it feels like I'm taking a kid back, the kid to the mall or something. Sayuri finds pleasure in, in the simplest, simplest things sometimes. Hey, Sayuri. What exactly are we doing for the festival, anyway? I'm not sure how you would make an effort... ...an effort out of literature. Literature. Hehehe. <laughs> Me and Monica have it all planned out. Don't you worry. Is that so? Yep. We're gonna do a poetry performance. A performance? Of what kind? Well, everyone's gonna take turns on stage... ...and recite their favorite poems. Ah. That sounds... Kind of dull? Jordy McFly, you're not thinking about it right away at all. It's it's not just about reading poems. It's about performing them. Like you say the lines of the poems, like... Between my feet, the last remaining flower beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from its clinging roots. Caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what ends have I summoned this joy? For now, when I look in every direction, the once prosperous field before me, it is but a barren wasteland. Like that, Sayuri. How do I put this? I'm sure it's just me, but it's impossible for me to take you seriously when you talk to me like that. Eh? You meanie! I'm working super hard on this, you know? Ah, I know, I know. I just meant that it's a pretty unordinary contrast to your cute self. <laughs> don't say that, it's embarrassing. But I guess that means I'm not doing a good job. I guess that means I'm doing a good job. I guess that's what she said. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Ah, I'm so excited! The festival is going to be so much fun! Sorry, spins herself around in the hallway again. Hey, Trojan Fly, this classroom over here is empty. Let's begin the mission! Yeah, I guess you are the only one in the chat, Addy. You're the you're the last survivor. 
I guess uh, the boys got disinterested. So, it's just you and I now. <laughs> the mission, eh? It's been a long time since I've spent time with Siri like this. But in the end, she hasn't changed one bit. She's nothing but a ball of sunshine, drawing happy vibes from the world around her. It's a pretty nostalgic feeling for me. As the years went by, I began to hold myself in my room once more and more. So going adventuring with Sayori brings out a special sort of feeling I forget I had in me. Two of us enter the classroom. Sayori heads straight to the closet and I follow. Let's see. Let's see what we have here. Crayons! Sayori pulls out a box full of crayons off the shelf. They're the best brand too. They're kind of dirty though. Siri starts pulling various crayons out of the box, reading the color names. Alright, that's one down. Don't get distracted, we still need to find- Wait, I'm looking for my favorite color! <laughs> fine, fine. And at least move aside so I could look for the poster paper. Ah, uh, I dropped one by accident? Smack. Kya! Siri bends over and smacks her forehead right into the shelf. She falls on the floor, and the crayons spin all over her lap. Spill all over her lap, I mean. Ow! You okay? My forehead. Siri clutches her forehead. Jeez, Siri. I just like you, isn't it? Come on, let me see. Since Siri is sitting on the floor, I grab her by the waist and pull her up out of the closet. You have to move your hands, Siri. But it hurts. Just do it for a second. Siri slowly reaches her hands from her forehead. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Freaking look at that right there. I gently brush her bangs, bangs to the side. Ow! Sorry. There's a huge red mark in the center of her forehead. A bump is starting to form as well. Man, that's gonna swell up. I, oh, that, that was me talking, not her. I should find some... I should find you some ice. Try to McFly. Where would I even find some ice around this time? Uh... I guess... I guess a cold drink would do. You don't have to. I'm fine with looking like a unicorn. Oh good, because I did not want you to miss some of the good parts. What's up, Joseph? Welcome back. Even when seen from the pain, Siri makes a little silly joke. <laughs> what are you saying? It will be right. I'll be right back, okay? Oh, okay. I pat Sayuri on the shoulders and ran out into the hallway. I locate the nearest vending machine. What should I get? It doesn't really matter since it would be used as an ice pack rather than to drink. But I know Sayuri likes apple juice, so I purchased that one. In just that moment, I'm already returning to the classroom where I left Sayuri. She has one palm on her forehead and is using the other hand to clumsy scoop up the crayons back into the box. At least they are ready. At least they were already in the wrong spots before I slipped. Before I spilled them. Why did I almost say slip? What the crap? Anyways, Siri, here. I hand Siri the bottle of apple juice. It's nice and cold. Siri opens the cap and starts. <laughs> I almost said opens the crap. Opens the cap and starts drinking from it. Siri, what are you doing? It's it's for your forehead, idiot. Ah, uh, sorry, I forgot. <laughs> How hard did it hit your it hit your head? So he places the bottle against the bump on her head. It stings. Just bear with it. You'll feel better soon. It looks like you cleaned up most of the crayon, so that's good. Hey, Tony McFly, this kind of reminds me. Uh, this kind of remind. Yeah, this kind of reminds you of growing up, doesn't it? Eh, what do you mean? You know, how we used to play outside all the time. I would always try to keep up with you. You're kind of uh, you're kind of oblivious in some ways. Like I usually fell behind or had trouble climbing on the things you did. But sometimes when I tried to do things I couldn't I would get up myself hurt. I fall and scrape myself or get a bump. And I would start crying really hard. 
and you would rush over as quick as you could. You would try to- you would try really hard to get me to stop crying. It was almost like you blamed yourself and were afraid of getting in trouble if someone found out. Even though it really wasn't your fault at all, you know? Did I really do that? Yeah, you don't remember? Come to think of it, maybe I do remember a bit. I guess I always- I guess I was always so focused on my games that I didn't really pay enough attention to you. So in a way, it's my fault. Kind of like this time too. If I wasn't rushing you to get out the closet, you would probably wouldn't have hit your head. Freddie McFly, I don't think you realize it, but you're always thinking about other people. Even after all these years. You're rushing to help me even though I'm just being clumsy. You're really a sweetheart. Don't call me that. And I don't really do this kind of thing all the time. I guess when it comes to you, it just feels natural. Before I know, even know it, I'm treating you like that. I guess that's what happens when, you, when you've been friends for so long. Really? Maybe you're right. Freddy McFly, I'm so glad that that's nothing changed between us. What the crap? Anyways, <laughs> freaking messaging. Do you think that it would be like this forever? <laughs> oh, it almost sounds like a certain has a target locked. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Forever? If I'm honest to myself, there's no telling where, where, where we'll each end up at, up for college or after that. So I wouldn't, so it wouldn't be fair to make any promises, but. Well, I hope so. It's been this long already, right? I can't imagine you ever changing, so my hopes are up. I'm so happy. Suri is a whimsical expre- a certain- <laughs> Sayuri has a whimsical expression in her eyes. We remain silent for a moment. She's so silly and clumsy on the outside that when I see her deep in thought like this, it makes me not want to disturb her. I guess we should get- I, I guess we should go back. I don't want to worry Monica, you know? Good luck with that. She's gonna see your forehead either way. Not if I hide it under my bangs. <laughs> Suri hops up to her feet. Ah! Th she causes her forehead again. Don't stand up so fast after hurting yourself. Yeah. Well, I guess it's too late now. And he saw her face. Now he's a believer. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Well, looks like everybody's back now. Anyway, let's go. I follow Sayuri out of the classroom. Sayuri so plays with her bangs to try to hide the bump. But without much success, in a moment, we'll, we, we make it back to the club room. Off doubt in his mind, you say, <clears throat> Ah, you're back. Good timing. I was about to- I, I was just about ready to start with sharing our poems. Eh? Sorry, your forehead. She's fine. Don't worry about it. I was playing with the crayons and it smacked my forehead into the shelf. <laughs> what was the point of trying to hide it anyway? Well, anyway... He's in love, you say? Were you able to find everything we needed? Uh-huh, I have it right. Eh? Sari friendly gl glances around herself. I forgot all this stuff! Calm down, Sari. I have it all right here. I found the poster paper, too. <laughs> Sounds like you really ended up doing the work after all. All the work after all, Dream McFly. Don't you hate it when you hit your forehead and it swells into a. Ugh, <sighs> goodness gracious, Joseph. Ah, well, Sari. I failed, to I failed to come up with an excuse for Sari. I made it an adventure. Yeah, that. Ah, okay, okay. In any case, good work. I'll start w working on the posters tonight. Me too. Okay, everyone. Are you ready to share your poems? Guess I should grab mine. After making sure the crayon box is closed tightly, I return to my seat. All right, chat. Uh, you 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 pick. It's 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 time. Your time has come, chat. Your time has come to pick.
We got Monica, we got Yuri, we got Natsuki, we got Sayuri. Monica, you say? Monica or forehead girl? Alright. Monica it is. Hi again, Jordy McFly. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as you're as long as it's not going bad, I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Aha, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Wanna sure you not sure what you wrote for today? Sure. Here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Alright! It's pretty good. It makes me think of Sayuri, like the other one you wrote. Oh yeah, I forgot that was a thing. Like, for the ones who don't know in the chat, whatever poem you write, it's pretty much for the one who's jumping up the most. So, yeah, that's, that, that's a thing. You you two are like the dynamic duo. <laughs> That's kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? And again, I don't blame you for being shy. I'm not shy, I just... <laughs> I'm just teasing. I, I know it takes a bit of time to make friends with everyone. But Yuri and Natsuki are super interesting people, so... Don't be afraid to give them give them their share of time. And you can talk to I thought she, I thought that said you can walk to me every now and then too. But you can talk to me every now and then too. I'm not like unapproachable or anything, am I? Ah no, it's nothing like that. I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah. I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. No, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well alright. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Save me. The colors, they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, green, blue, and endless. It, what? What is that word? Cacophony of meaningless noise? The, the noise that won't stop. Violent, grating, waveforms, speaking, screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalk... Like playing a chalkboard on a turntable? Okay. Uh, I need a Dr. Pepper Chan, please. Don't mention your appetite in chat. Like playing on a... What does that say? Vigneal on a pizza crust? An endless poem of meaningless. Some of the cursive in here is just like, oh. Hmm. <clears throat> it's even more abstract than your last one, huh? <laughs> I guess it's just the way I write. I I'm sorry if you didn't like it. No, I never said that. It's just the kind of thing i never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with the space on the paper. <laughs> if you like playing with the space on the paper, you should be an artist then. You're, 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 you get somewhere. <laughs> choosing where, where and how I, sp to, choosing where and how to space your words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's like magic. The way I wrote the lines, really short, makes it feel like they're trying to speak over at the noise. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking a poem is about yeah as sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question a poem can be an abstract as as abstract as a physical expression of a feeling or a conversation with the reader so putting it that way not every poem is about something anyway here's monica's writing tip of the day Okay, she's breaking the fourth wall again. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. <sighs> Whatever you say, Monica. Just gonna go ahead and save right there. 
Bada bing, bada boom. You never know when you might change your mind. Or when some something unexpected happens. Don't say that. Do not say that to me. Don't do that. Freaking breaking the fourth wall over here. Wait, is, is this tip even about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my advice for today. That wasn't advice, that was a warning! Freaking... <laughs> Who's next, chat? Who's next? Alright, you're hitting the hay. Uh, see you later, John. I mean, if I'm up late, you're you can be up late then, John. Say? Say what? What do you want me to say? Say Yuri? Is that what you want? So here it is. Dirty McFly. I really love your poems. I can't believe you're, you've been hiding these from me. Eh, I'm not hiding anything. But your poems are so good. Yesterday and this one too. You can't tell me you haven't done this before. I mean... You're really the one, the only one who feels that way, so... Eh, no way. Not even Natsuki? Well, I guess Natsuki is the least likely to admit how much he likes something. But I don't think it's that. What do you mean? Well, I, I guess I'll be a little honest about it. It's a lot easier to write poems when I'm thinking about you. Eh? What? <laughs> Stop thinking weird things, idiot. I, I, I just... Oh, stop thinking weird things, idiot. There we go. I just mean that you're really... Ex uh, that you're a really expressive person, I guess. How am I supposed to write poems about my own stupid life? But you somehow make everything in your life an adventure. Even the little things. Like cooking. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess what I'm saying is that I feel more feelings through you than I can through myself. We have that kind of weird connection. It's your fault for getting my business. It's your fault for getting my business all the time. Eh, I don't know if I understand. <sighs> you never understand what I'm trying when I try to explain things up to you, do you, Sayori? I pat Sayori's forehead. <laughs> hey, I'm not a kid, you know. Are you sure about that? Hmm, maybe. Freaking this man over here in the corner, freaking Lawrence, get off a of freaking steam, you dope! <laughs> You're popping up in my thingy, my bob. I don't know why he popped up there. It normally pops up on my computer screen, and not in the corner of a game. Anyway, Siri starts fiddling with her pencil between her hands. Hey, Jordy McFly, will you give me your poem? I kind of want to keep it. Huh? Why? Because, well, it's, it's the first time you've written something for me. <laughs> the Siri, you completely misunderstood. I didn't write this for you. <laughs> Are you even listening anymore? Well, whatever. I'll give it to you when when you when we go home. Really? Snap! Ah! I broke my pencil. Siri hastily bends down to pick up the pieces he dropped. But being in the t in in the t I, I just can't say words of her surroundings, she bumps it, she bumps right into me. This is sorry. It, it's fine, it's fine. I'll get it for you. I bend down and pick up the broken pencil. Siri clutches the desk beside her to to support her knees sh shaking. I'm a little clumsy today. <laughs> Let's sit down, Siri. Yeah, I guess Sayori's arm and help her sit at the desk. Anyway, I still haven't read your poem. Oh, sorry, forgot about that. But it's not as good as yours. Jeez, don't worry. I'm sure I'll like it. The bottles. 
I pop off my scalp. Uh, what? I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. That's that sounds very dark right there, and I don't know how I feel about that. It's it's a, the little secret place where I keep all my dreams, like balls of sunshine, all rubbing together in a bundle of kittens. I reach inside my thumb and forefinger. I I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger to pluck one out. It's warm and tingly, but there's no time to waste. I put it in a bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and bottles. All in a row. My collection makes me makes me lots of friends. Each bottle is starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes the bottle to save the day. Night after night. Wait a minute. Why does it say meds right here? That literally says meds right there. Night after night, more dreams, friends after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go, like exploring a dark cave, discovering these hidden secrets and nooks and crannies, digging and, and digging, scraping and scraping. I I blow dust off my bottle caps. It I it doesn't feel like the, the, it doesn't feel like time elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, wait, what does this say? Absolutely nothing. Okay. The other thing said meds, so I was concerned. Finally all done, I open up and and in come my friends. And they come in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from off the shelf at one after the other, holding them out to each of my every each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shadows against the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, and shards all over the floor. They were supposed to be for my friends, my friends who weren't smiling. They're all shout pleading something. Well, all I hear is echo, 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 echo inside my head. Did she put anything other? Th uh, anything else that's weird? No, nothing but that. Okay. Freaking that doesn't save me. What am I? I'm. <laughs> I don't know what I'm reading. Anyways. That didn't say meds at all. What am I looking at? That, that that's. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm a tad bit dyslexic or something. Holy crap! Sorry, did you really write this? Of course I did. Didn't I tell you yesterday I was gonna write the best poem ever? Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. Monica taught me a whole lot. And I've been really in, in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. Sounds like a manifesto of her random trains of thoughts. You're right. It's also kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm so used to you being cheerful. Well, never mind. I'm thinking too hard about it. The point is, I came out... It came out good, so you should be proud of it. Aw, oh, thanks. I feel like... I feel like... It was meant... I was meant to express myself this way. It even helps me understand my own feelings a bit better. Writing is like magic. You've gotten pretty passionate about this, huh? I hope you f I hope you keep it up. Yeah. Writing is the best. I'm gonna keep writing till I die. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Siri always has the habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping it it no more than a week later. I wonder if this one I wonder if this one is one of those times. But seeing the passion in her eyes makes it hard to be pessimistic. Who should I show my poem next? Alright, chat. Natsuki or Yuri? Once it reaches around 12, I'll end the stream. I don't want to be streaming all night. <clears throat> The nut. <laughs> Which one? They're both pretty crazy.
I'll choose Natsuki. The Nutty Natty. <laughs> the Nutty Natty. Natsuki reads my poem. She glances at me, then back at the poem. But now she must have read it more more than once. Ugh. Aren't you supposed to be bad at this? Is that a compliment? No, I mean, you know. Natsuki struggles to find the words she wants. I just expected a lot less after what you showed me yesterday. That's all. Well, I guess I just got lucky with this one. Yeah, exactly. You, you know you got lucky, you know? Well, you just got lucky, you know? Freaking... Still can't read. Don't get used to it. You won't always manage to write poems this cute. I mean... <laughs> I mean, well written. No, I mean... Ah, so... No, so that's how my poem is. My poem is cute. No, why are you smiling? It's not like I like cute things. <laughs> and Suki shoves my poem back towards me. Huh. Reading it again, and I decided it's not so great after all. It's too cute and doki doki. It would only impress, you know, girls who like those kind of things. <laughs> For some reason, Natsuki is incredibly easy to ease, uh, easy, incredibly easy to see through, incredibly to ease. What am I on? Well, anyway, you're gonna read mine now, right? Judging by your taste, you'll probably like it a lot. You'll probably, you'll probably learn something too. Don't forget who the real pro is. Okay, whatever you say. Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky? Really? Hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not a f that, that's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her sing my favorite love song. Every time she has sang the chorus, uh, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hurt my leg on my head, my leg, my head, my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start like start to like spiders too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she likes if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if, if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spider lovers. I'm, and I'm gonna tell everyone. What the crap kind of poem is this? What 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 is this? What is this poem? I I don't. <laughs> what? What the crap is this? What what? This is what the crap. <laughs> right, Joseph? Just, what is this? Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was t way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think that it was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I doubt I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues of a much simpler and the end of the I didn't get the anyways. And it helps people realize how stupid they're being. Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. So you you know people so, yeah, do you know people like that? Of course. It's about how everyone thinks my that doesn't matter. <laughs> it can be about anything. I wrote it to be easy to relate to. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Some something that you're afraid of. If people find out, they make fun of you. They make fun of you or think less of you. But that's just. But well, that just makes people stupid. Who cares that someone likes as? Well, well, ah, who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone? And what makes them? What makes them happy? I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of other people can too. It's what I do best after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotions is important. But I want to make people th think it's... N I want to make people think, not just feel. Remember that. 
I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow, too. So look forward to it. Okay, whatever you say, friend. Ah, it's my turn? Let's see how it compares to yesterday's. Hmm... I see. It's a bit different. I respect you for trying different things, Ray McFly. Were you a- what were you inspired by Natsuki's poem? Or Sayuri's, perhaps? Well... I guess you could say that. I thought so. I'm happy for you. You don't need to find inspiration in my poems. I write them for myself. Not for anyone else. What? Why- you're weird. <laughs> I don't know if I like you. So I don't really need... I don't really need for people to like them or anything. Yuri! Eh? I'm sorry for being blunt, but you're overthinking this a little. Just because our styles are different doesn't mean I dislike your poems. In fact, I tried to do something in your style. In fact, if I tried to do something in your style, I would probably do just a terrible job. I see. I'm sorry. My stupid mind. It likes to do that sometimes. Anyway... You, you don't need to be afraid to, to be a little more daring. Metaphors can go a long way. Don't feel the need- don't feel like you need to work your brain. Like turn- like turning a bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander through your- your feelings. And write down the things you see and hear. That's one way to truly enable your reader to see into your mind. It's a very intimate exercise, I see. That's a certain- that's a certainly interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have, um, well, an example of that if you'd like to read it. Of course. Is the poem you write for today? Wait, what? What did I just- Whatever. <laughs> what is this writing? I cannot deal. It's so hard. Mm. What the crap? It happened in the dead of night while- Oh, well, okay. The raccoon. It happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My attention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as an unordinary hero- uh, An unordinary human. Ah. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread. My subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the, was the, sim the symptom. The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon and urge. The moon in increments its phase and a flex that much more light off of my cutting knife. What, what, what's, what's with the knife? What's happening here? The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon friend. I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. On perhaps, or, or perhaps, I'm merely projecting my emotions onto my newly satisfied animal. The raccoon was taken off to follow me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I banish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows its, its shows me its, its excitement. Oh, okay, my guy. Peace. Thanks for tuning in. Excitement. A rush of blood. A classic. Uh, whatever. I can't even make that out. Conditioning. I slice the bread. And I feed myself again. Um, I was a little more daring with this one than yesterday's. I can see that. It's a lot more metaphorical. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can't begin to imagine what this poem is about. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Using the poems as a canvas to express vivid imagery and conveying emotions through them. Yeah, if I take if I take it at face value, then I can't even figure out what this what this it's supposed to mean. Well, I think it's something that's that different people can relate to in their own way. I wanted to express the the way it feels for more t to indulge in my more unusual hobbies. 
it's those sort of things I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So it's sometimes so I sometimes enjoy writing about them. Huh, that's funny. Didn't Natsuki also write about something like that? About someone being ridiculed for strange interests? Eh? She she did? Yeah. She was talking about it. How it doesn't matter if you're into as it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting anybody. She she's right. Uh, I mean, does she really feel that way? Yeah. Sounds like you, you sounds like you two have that in common. That's well. That's interesting. To me, she seemed like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. But I suppose that's my fault for judging, isn't it? Ah, please don't tell me. Please don't tell her what I said. <laughs> don't worry, I have no reason to. Okay, well, thank you for sharing it with me. After all, I hadn't learned myself to embrace my own weirdness. I would probably hate myself. I, I might be ranting a little bit now, but I'm glad that you're a good listener. Okay, everyone. We're all done reading each other's poems, right? I have something extra planned today, so if everyone could sit at, at the front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like it's not like we can put together any good anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with the last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. Sayuri has been working on the posters, and I've designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all, but, does, but doesn't that tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event? Ah, sorry, I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? But, <laughs> um, Monica. Yeah, we're going to be having a poetry before it. Each of us are going to choose a poem to recite during the event. But the cool part is, we're also going to let anyone. We're also going to let anyone else come up and recite poems too. Siri's putting uh, putting it on all these posters in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. Hehe. <laughs> Siri, who's been coloring the poster, holds holds it up for us to see. Are you kidding me, Monica? You 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 didn't. You didn't already start putting up posters, did you? Uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of an idea? Well, no, it's not a bad idea, but I didn't sign up for this, you know? There's no way I'm going to perform in front of a group of people like that. I agree with Natsuki. I could never in my life do something like that. Imagine it. Yuri shakes her head in fear. Guys, no, Sayori, I understand where they're all coming from. Remember that Natsuki and Yuri have never shared their poems with anyone until just a couple days ago. It's a lot. It's a lot to ask for them to recite their poems out to a whole room full of people. Why couldn't I read that? I guess I kind of overlooked that. So I'm sorry, but I still think that we should give it our best. We're the ones. Only, we're the only ones responsible for this. The faith of this club. If we start the event and each put on a good performance, then it will inspire others to do the same. And the more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show everyone what literature is all about. Yeah, it's about expressing your feelings, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we're all in this club today. Don't you want to share that with others? To aspire them to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if... Wait, I probably didn't. Anyways. And if it all takes... It, eh, and if all it takes is standing in front of the room for two minutes and reciting a poem, then I know you can do it. That's you can hear you remain silent. Sari looks worried. I, I guess that leaves me no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think Siri and Monica have been really trying hard to get this to new members. Uh, the least we could do is help them out a bit. Well, maybe, but... 
It looks like Natsuki doesn't have any arguments left. Y you're okay, fine. I guess we'll have to wait. I guess we'll have to get it over with. All right. Phew. Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Yuri? Yuri dejectedly glances around at everyone else's expectant faces. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice. <laughs> That's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This club is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyway, let's move in on to the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to practice reciting them in front of each other. N no way! Monica, this is too sudden. Well, if you can't recite your poems in front of a club, how do you expect to do it in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry about it. I'll start off to help everyone feel more comfortable. Can I go next? <laughs> of course. Now let's see. Monica flips through her notebook to a, as to a specific poem she has in, in her, her mind, has in her mind for her, eh, has in mind for her. Not in her mind, in mind. There we go. <laughs> she tends, she, she then tends, she then stands up behind the podium. The title of this poem is The Way They Fly. <laughs> Monica begins reciting her poem. Her clear, confident voice fills the room. More than that, her in inflection is is pristine. She knows exactly how to apply emotion behind the line she recites, bringing the words to life. Is something that she's is this something that she's done before, or she's simply a natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Surya looks amazed. Yuri has an interest expression on her face. It has an intense expression on her face that I don't understand. Finally, Monica finished the the rest of. I clicked too fast. Can't sleep. Oh, you're back. What's up, my guy? The four of us applaud. <laughs> Can't sleep. Beep beep. Uh, Monica takes takes a breath and smiles. That was so good, Monica. <laughs> Thank you very much. I was just hoping to set a good example. Here I come, rising through in in my jeep. Oh dear. <laughs> this man making rhymes in the chat. Are you ready to, to go next, Yuri? I'll go next. Well, Yuri's all fired, fired up all of a sudden. Yuri clutches the sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Keeping her head down, she walks freely over to the podium. This poem is called... Yuri anxiously glances at each of us. You can do it, Yuri. It's called The After Image of a Crimson Eye. Yuri's voice shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she practically refused to do this. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. It's it's almost like what happens when Yuri g gets absorbed into her books. Her quivering words transform. Cash money. All these mofos know I got a heap. <sighs> Alright, my guy. Her quivering words transform into, a sh into to the sharp syllables of a fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns and its and its structures that she in 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 you and um in that <laughs> forget it <laughs> forget it I'm not I'm not reading that. This must be a rare glimpse into the whirling fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri snaps back into reality and glances around her as if she bewildered, bewildered even herself. I... It's up to me to save this situation. I'm the first stand up applauding. Everyone joins me afterward and I start giving Yuri the recognition she deserves. Ice on my chest makes all these girls weep. Oh my goodness gracious. It's, it's not that we didn't want to applaud for her, but we were caught so off guard that we must have forgotten. As we applaud, Yuri holds the poem to her chest and rushes back into her seat. Yuri, that was really good. Thank you for sharing. Looks looks like Yuri is down for the count. Okay, I guess I'm next then. Yuri hops up out of her chair and cheerfully walks to the podium. This one's called My Meadow. Ah, <laughs> sorry, I giggled. <laughs> See, Yuri, it's a lot harder than I thought. How, you, how did you guys do this so easily? Uh, try not to think like you're reciting to other people. Imagine you're, react, you're reciting to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. 
It's your poem, so it'll come out the best way. It'll come out best that way, I mean. I see, I see. Okay, then. Siri begins her poem. Somehow it feels like her soft voice was made as a perfect match. The poem isn't aimlessly cheering, as Siri is. The underwater chain on fleek. <sighs> Alright, so we're doing this in chat right now. It's serene and bittersweet. If it, if it, uh, if I were to read this on paper, I would probably think of it as much, as uh, much of it, uh, But hearing it come from Sayuri's voice almost gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe this is what Sayuri meant when she said she likes my poems. It's like I get to reach more deeply into someone I got, I, I thought I knew through, through and through. Sayuri finishes and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayuri! Hehehe, <laughs> even Jory McFly liked it. I guess that's good. That's a good sign. What does that even mean? It came out nicely, Sayuri. The atmosphere of the poem fits you really nicely. But it, it might be that other poem. But it, but it might be that other poem wouldn't work quite as well with that delivery. Eh, I don't really understand. In other words, I've seen beep beep. Never knew life was so sweet. Uh, in other words, I've seen poems of yours where that sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. They might need a little more force behind them, depending on what they're reading, on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. Uh, that's well, I've been practicing that kind of thing. It's just embarrassing to do in front of everyone else. <laughs> then next time I'm gonna make you pick a poem that challenges you a little bit more. We don't have much time before the festival, you know? Okay. Now, who's next? Natsuki? Hmm. <laughs> don't make me go before Troy McFly. It's not like I can, compare to, I can compare to you guys anyway. Might as well let Troy McFly lower everyone's standards a little before I have to do it. Dang! How you about to roast me like that, my girl? That ain't nice. That's Suki. It's fine, it's fine. I may as well get this over with. Well, it's not like I have much of a section of... Uh, 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 much of a... It's not like... Uh, it's not like I have much of a selection of what to read. Ah! Uh, I can't get... Let me drink my juice. I just can't get things out. I stand up and step in front of the podium. Everyone has their eyes on me, making me feel terribly awkward. I recite my poem, so I'm not exactly confident in my own writing. It's hard for, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. Sorry, I'm not really as good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. That's something that will improve over time, though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then, that just leaves you, Natsuki. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Natsuki begrudgingly gets out of her seat and makes her way to the podium. The poem is called... It's called... Why are you all looking at me? <laughs> because you're presenting. <laughs> anyway, the poem is called Jump. Natsuki takes a breath. When she starts reciting the poem, her sour attitude disappears once a little... While she's still a little uh, un unenthused, her poem uh, has a rhythm and rhyme to it. It's Natsuki's trademark style, and it works surprisingly well if spoken aloud. Hop in the jeep, leather so soft like a sheep. Yeah, beep, beep, beep. Oh my goodness. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if giving into the life of the poem. Natsuki finishes everyone and uh, Natsuki finishes and everyone applauses. She huffs back to her seed. That wasn't so bad, was it? Easy for you to say. You better not make me do it again. Ah, uh, well, do you at least feel prepared enough to recite a poem in front of other people? I mean, doing it in front of other people would be way easier. I can put on whatever face I want in front of other people, but when it's just my friends, Johnny jams in this mouthful. <laughs> okay. Stop spitting fire in my chat. It's just embarrassing. <laughs> that that's that's a surprise, Natsuki. I think it would be the other way around for me. 
well, that's just how it is, so... Well, I guess that's the case. You won't have much to worry about for after the festival. That said, I want to thank everyone for coming out, though. It might be hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what this is this is like now. Make sure you pick up a poem and get in, and get practice before the festival, okay? I'll be making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time what you will be reciting. Jeez, I should probably find some other poems to recite instead. That's fine too. It doesn't have to be your own. I'm already pleasantly surprised. Sur surprised. I'm already <laughs> pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort for the club. It makes me really happy. Oh, yeah, well, no problem. I'm about to spit a whole testimony. <laughs> okay, everyone. I think that's about it for today. I know the festival is coming up, but let's not try to write. But let's try to write poems for tomorrow as well. It's been. Uh, it's. It's been working out really, really nicely so far, so I'd like it to continue. We are gathered here today in the middle of Little Italy. Oh my goodness gracious. As for the festival, we'll finish playing tomorrow and then we'll have the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this. I can do this. Alright. I stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find the same enthusiasm as the Yuri Monica, but I'll do my best get to get to it. If it's for the sake of the club, and impressing Monica, <laughs> then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayuri? Yep! Look at you two, always going home together like that. It's kind of adorable, isn't it? Hehehe. <laughs> Jeez, guys. To honor the people who only belittled me, but made me... <sighs> John, 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 John. Jeez, guys. Don't make such a big deal out of it. It must be a little nice, though. Well, uh... How am I supposed to respond to that? It, uh, it's okay, Dre McFly. You don't have to say it. Whatever. Let's go already. Oh, mayo. I walk home with Larry once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. But today, Sayori's been a little quieter than usual at his home. Hey, Sayori. Sorry, you're spacing out. Ah, uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. Like how we get to... I mean... Zuri fumbles her with her words. So let's just say that one day Yuri asked to walk home with you. Huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? This is my testimony and I have to speak it to the weak John, please. You're kind of putting me on the spot here. <laughs> well... Say, Yuri. You really think I did you for Yuri? Eh? But she's so beautiful and smart. Jeez. I already see her in a club every day. Besides, you always seem like you you always seem to really like going home home together. I wouldn't I wouldn't just ruin that for you. You're so silly, Driving Fly. You think about me too much sometimes. Yuri would deserve it if she wanted it so. Say, Yuri, I've made up my mind. I, re I, I really can't figure you out sometimes. Sayuri. Besides... Besides th that, what's the point of... What's the point in speculating something that's never gonna happen? Hmm. The conversation trails off. It's kind of weird. It's kind of... Yeah. It's kind of a weird thing for Sayuri to care about... To care so much. But I wanted to respect her and keep her, keep her happy too. Well, then again, the festival is only a few days away. Who knows what would happen in that time? Well, alrighty then. Here comes our next poem. Sparkle. Melancholy. Melancholy. Mel I can't. Forget it. <laughs> Ain't, ain't no one touching my feet. Uh... Oh man, the last one here again. Don't worry, I just walked in too. 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Before we get into even more than this, I think I'm gonna stop the stream here and save the, some, some juicy, some juicy, some juicy steak for tomorrow. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be streaming this tomorrow. Uh, I, I wanted to spend tonight getting to the good, making our way through all the, all the flat stuff and getting to the big stuff. So I think I'm about to end it here. And, uh, Thanks for tuning in, whoever popped up and watched. Thanks for coming back, John, and sticking with me. I was getting a, a little, a little lonely, <laughs> I guess. I, I, I don't know who's watching. Uh, as far as I know, it's just you. But yeah, thanks everyone. Freaking get these notifications out of here. <laughs> All right. Uh, anyways, I'm about to dip. See you guys tomorrow. Peace.